What's going on, Backpackers? Dave here with Off Grid. I'm into backpacking, hiking, camping, and gear. And I've got another gear loadout for you guys. This is going to be for my TCT Redemption trip. Um, pretty confident this year that I'll get it done, so knock on wood, um, that'll actually happen this year. There is um, another gear loadout for the one that I did last year. You can head on over and check that one out. But Today I just really wanted to focus on primarily the new pieces of gear. I'll kind of try to fly through the repeat offenders because a lot of it is going to be the same that I brought uh, with me last year, same for this year. But um, there are a select few pieces of new gear and then there's some uh, gear omissions that have helped me to attack the trail with a total base weight of around 12 pounds, a little bit over this year, compared to the 15 or so last year. So I was able to save about three pounds total in my base weight. And this video is all about showing you how I accomplished that. Okay, starting with the pack. We've got, and I'm really excited to bring this one out on trail, it is the Z-Pax Nero DCF. This one is a new uh, piece uh, without all of the hip belt pockets and shoulder pockets, which I've already added onto this thing. It's only 10.9 ounces. With all the extra um, additions that I added to it, it's maybe around 13 ounces total. So this is the DCF version. I don't think they make it a DCF anymore. It's only an Ultra, but that is what I'm gonna use for my pack. Um, Let's uh, get some of the stuff off the side here. Um, these are both new as well, so I got roasted on the trail last year, so I'm gonna be bringing the Gossamer Gear Umbrella. Um, really light, this is a new uh, piece, can't wait to try that out to really um, you know, help with those super high sun exposure days. So unless there's fog, we're definitely gonna be hitting a lot of sun out on trail. And then here for my trekking poles and for usage with um, you know setting up my tent, I've got the Z-Packs Minimalist Carbon Fiber Trekking Poles. I'm gonna try to go lighter so that I hopefully don't break these because I feel like they might be a little bit more fragile. And then I've also added the uh, stick stashers on here as well um, so that I can quickly uh, stash my poles when I'm on the go. So that's all new stuff. Working my way around the pack here too. Let's bring it back up again. Uh, in the back panel here, um, and what I've used before is the Outdoor Vitals uh, back panel slash sit pad. I don't really use it as a sit pad. I use it primarily just to like lay stuff out on. Um, and uh, underneath like, you know, my, my pad, uh, underneath uh, my, my sleeping pad at night. Um, I've got my thermo drop uh, temperature gauge thermometer over here. Um, the Z-Packs um, front pouch pocket here. So I usually slide my cell phone into the main compartment of this guy. And then up front here I've got tissues, hand sanitizer, and some lip balm just for a quick and easy access. On the, old, on the other uh, shoulder strap here, I've got an REI, uh, just like a small pack towel to wipe my sweat off. Little holster here for the Gossamer Gear uh, Sun Umbrella. And then I have the Z-Pax uh, water bottle pocket that works pretty well. Has an elastic band to kind of hold it down. Um, let's see what else. We've got the hip belt pockets over here next. So let me dive right into that and show you what I got in each one of the uh, hip belts. For the one side, I've got my bug head net here, just in case the gnats get crazy. I got a couple of these guys, which are additional bungee cords, which I'm gonna use um, not only for my umbrella on trail, but also at camp. I'll show you that when I hit the trail, actually when I'm at camp. And then I also have the Sun Blessa headlamp here, ultra lightweight, and it works very well. Not super bright, but works for what I need it for. And the other hip belt pocket is going to be primarily snacks and electrolytes, things that I might need when I'm on the go. This is just a uh, really disgusting bag of pre-existing noon tablets. Uh, pro tip on that one, cut them in half before you hit the trail um, so that you're not fighting with them, biting them, or trying to break them in half and, and fit them in your smart water bottle. So break them when you're at home before you hit the trail. We've got some stir liquid here. Uh, and this will also be packed with other snacks as I'm, I'm kind of on the go. Continuing to make my way around. So in the one side pocket, I'll have the poles and the umbrella if I'm not gonna end up using it for the day, but primarily I'm gonna end up using it. In the other side pocket here, I've got my trusty dusty REI Flexlight air chair. One pound penalty, but I love it. And we're gonna be spending more time at camp, so that's definitely gonna be coming in handy. Um, let's make our way to the front pocket now before getting into the main body. 
And I haven't even taken this off of the backing yet here, but this is a uh, clothesline from Sea to Summit. The whole thing, including this pouch, supposedly weighs about 0 0.9 ounces. Um, this is going to come in handy because I'm probably going to wash my clothes at least once or twice when I'm on trail. We kind of have those luxuries when we're in camp. So um, last year I tried to use some bear line. It just didn't really work out that well. So um, this is a little bit more official and still super light. So that's going to help out. What else? I was going to use my Mayfly sandals, the new ones that I got from uh, Garage Grown Gear, but I think I'm going to probably take a dip in the ocean and I'm not really sure what the ocean floor is like, probably pretty rocky. So I'm going to decide to go back with my uh, Metog water shoes here. So definitely heavier, about six ounces versus the uh, Mayfly 1.7 ounce option, but um, it will definitely protect my feet a little bit more around camp. I just have my uh, uh, Adventure Medical Kit 0.5 that I altered myself. I still have to do a video on that, but uh, you know, have what I need in there. Uh, primarily, just a couple bandages, uh, ibuprofen, uh, backup lighter, bug wipes, uh, stuff like that, small stuff like that, and then like my Swiss Army knife. Um, this is something I don't normally bring on trips, but again, it's going to be a little bit more bougie out there, so I have the opportunity to wash my own clothes, which I tried to do last year as well. Um, but this year, I think I got a, a better system for it, so I just have the Sea to Summit Basin in here. I've got um, a super light towel also from Sea to Summit, and then I have an extra chamois right here that I'm going to use to kind of like sponge myself down, and then a little bottle in the front here of the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. Last year I tried to use the Sea to Summit um, sheets and they didn't really work out super well just for your body. I think it kind of works a little bit better for like washing your hands, things like that. Uh, poop kit, probably not going to need this because we have pit toilets at every camp. So it's kind of just like emergency if I need to use it on trail. It's got my uh, Vargo Dig Dig uh, knockoff. It's not even the brand name there. And some of the dehydrated um, towels. Uh, that's pretty much it. And I have the, the Purell on the front that I showed you before. It's a little battery pouch from Hilltop Packs I'm going to use for my GoPro batteries. I'm going to bring a couple of these smaller travel bottles of like banana boat style uh, aerosol sprays. Not great for the environment, but super convenient. Um, kind of switching away from the sun stick and going with more of the spray again. Just better coverage, I think. I'm gonna have uh, an emergency poncho. I'm gonna have my umbrella, so that's probably gonna cover me if we do hit any rain, but usually don't have rain in Southern California, but that'll be the backup there, super light. Um, an additional chamois here in the front pouch, and this is just gonna to be the, to wipe off the condensation. Last year, I got a ridiculous amount of condensation at Blackjack Camp, so if we hit that again, that'll definitely come in handy. I got my Noc Vecto bag, all this stuff, the stuff that I brought pretty much last year. Um, we have potable water on the island, but I'm gonna use my Sawyer Mini. Again, um, you know, the flow rate isn't that great on this thing, but it's still going strong, so there's no reason for me to swap it out quite yet. Here's a new addition. I got the uh, Rology cork ball, so I'm gonna try to uh, roll out the feet and uh, other joints and whatnot and muscles when I'm on trail. All right, so that's it for everything that's kind of around the bag. So let's get into um, the interior pocket now. Um, yeah, I think we're good with that. All right, let's go into the pack right now. I've got my toiletry kit and electronics kit that I can go over real quick. Nothing's really changed right here. We've got the uh, Giga Pump, um, which I may or may not bring. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more luxurious on this trip, so I might bring it. Uh, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have a 10,000 milliamp battery bank, my extra cables, and some earplugs are in here. Next up, we got my toiletry kit. And for this guy right here, um, again, pretty much standard stuff. I have more dehydrated wipes here, just in case I wanna wipe off. I wear contacts, so extra contact cases, and an extra pair of lenses, some um, flossers, some Q-tips, some eye drops for the contacts, and then this is a um, a fold out like comb and mirror combo that's pretty light because you know you got to keep the beard fresh when you're on trail. Next up here, let's get into the shelter and sleep system. This is pretty much the same as well. This is the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT, non insulated, uh, long and wide. So, again, I'm, I'm prepping. This is a, a warm summer, so I'm prepping for uh, a warm time when we're out there. So, I don't think I need additional warmth. 
my shelter of choice here again is going to be the Gossamer Gear, the one. Um, it's just, uh, I keep coming back to this time after time. I have the Lanchan Pro 1 as my, my backup, but this one is just super uber light and works out really well. Uh, and then I just have a pack liner in here as well to, to kind of keep things dry, even though, again, I don't foresee any rain. For, to round out the, um, the sleep system here, I'm going to try out my new Bumblebee quilt, the Enlightened Equipment. Um, I think this is an Apex Revelation, um, and it's a uh, 50 degree. So um, this might actually be a little chilly because I think their comfort rating is a little bit higher than this. It's probably like 55 or 60. For this one but um you know hopefully it'll keep me warm we'll see again prepping for warmer temperatures and then right off screen here let me grab it uh, to round out the sleep system my tried and true thermo rest pillow look at the loft on that thing it's crazy it definitely compresses down because it's a compressible pillow but um and that will not stay as lofted but that's gonna round out the uh, outside and then my sleep system. Oh, to go along with my tent here, I still have it in the package and I have to configure it for the tent. But this is the top shelves, kind of just like a, a, an above canopy for inside my Gossamer Gear, the one tent. And then also just kind of like little extras over here. I'm gonna try these things. I ended up getting like a bad blister on trail last year and this is um, just a toe cap. Uh, I'm gonna go over my uh, clothing in a second here, but this is just gonna be additional blister prevention for me here. Um, what can I go over next? Let's go over the food stuff real quick. And I'm not gonna show everything that's in my food kit here um, as far as the food options. That I probably will show you on trail. Everything else I'm probably not. Um, and I keep these in my food bag because they are considered smellables and I can't find the toothbrush I just got lost because it's so tiny but you got some unpaced tabs here i'm gonna try that as a newbie you got my scoopy here for my powders my elixida modified straw to to drink out of my bottle when i'm on trail oh, here it is this is a new one here that ridiculously tiny uh toothbrush from uh garage Drone gift and then for my cook it here i'm actually on the fence um i'm not sure for my food, if I'm gonna bring the right on trek meals, if I'm gonna bring those, then I'm, then I'm gonna definitely have to bring a, a stove um, for a gas uh, stove. But if not, then I'm gonna bring my X Boil alcohol stove. I'm still leaning towards the alcohol stove at this point, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I think either way, I'm probably gonna bring the Tokes 750 milliliter pot here. Um, if I bring my gas stove, I'm gonna bring the BRS 3000 knockoff. Um, that I have just to save a little bit of weight over the, uh, the Soda Windmaster. Um, and then I have like a microfiber towel in here. If I'm bringing the X-Boil, I'll still use it with the Tokes. Various condiments and other things um, in here, so I won't really get into this. Um, and I'll showcase that when I'm on trail. All right, the last piece that I'm gonna talk about for this loadout is going to be my uh, clothing options here. All right, so instead of, so I usually, and last year I went with a visor when I was on trail and it definitely helped out for sure to, you know, keep my hair less matted. I, I kind of hate having, you know, wearing a traditional hat now when I'm on trail. Um, but this year I'm going with the sun umbrella, so I'm gonna switch it up. And I uh, kind of got this look from, from Frozen and his channel, and this is not the one that I'm gonna bring, but uh, I'm gonna bring a buff to kind of wear as like a bandana and to use to wipe the sweat. And then I've got my wear oil sunglasses that I said I was gonna try on trail. So that's what I'm gonna try out. Normally I don't like sunglasses when I'm on trail, but so to, to mix it up a little bit there. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing my uh, Garmin InReach um, watch. And then let's get into the other clothing options here. This is where I shaved a bunch of the weight. I'm gonna bring just a pair of uh, trunks here with uh, no liner so that I can just, you know, use it for showering and, um, you know, uh, going into the ocean, stuff like that. That'll be good for that. I am gonna bring a couple of pairs of socks uh, as far as like duplicates go. I'm gonna try a dual sock system for blisters here as well. I've got the Njinjis right here and then I've got Darn Tufts. I'll wear the Njinjis underneath the Darn Tufts and see if that prevents it. If it doesn't prevent it, then I have the toe cap as a backup there. Uh, the next piece here is going to be my pants. Uh, I'm probably gonna bring the Basin Trek pants. These are marmot pants, but uh, just as a as a filler, I'm probably gonna bring the uh, Basin Trek pants from 
uh, Mountain Hardware. For my chonies, my undies, I'm gonna go with the Ex Officio, a nine inch uh, inseams there. Um, those are work really well. And then, so for the undies, I'm probably gonna bring a couple pairs of those, and I'm gonna bring a couple pairs of shirts. I could probably get away with one shirt, but I'm gonna bring a couple here. One of them's by Mountain Hardware. Uh, I think it's a Crater Lake hoodie, and then the other one is by Outdoor Vitals, and it's their Sun hoodie. I forget the name of it right now. Um, and that's pretty much it for the clothing. I'm probably gonna bring like my, my Ultra Tim 3s for my, my shoe gear. Um, and oh, the last piece here is my Senchi Ren. I'm not gonna bring the bag that it comes in here, but uh, Senchi Ren works out really well for a good mid layer. If it's going to predict even colder temperatures, I'm probably gonna go with uh, you know my Puffy and my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer, but I don't think it will. Um, so that's it. That's uh, pretty much everything. The only other things that I can think of at this point that I'm not going to bring are bear mace, which I did bring last year just for the bison that are out there, but I don't even know if that's really going to make a difference if we come across bison, so I'm going to kick that to the curve and that helped me save about 10 ounces. And then the other thing that I omitted last year, I'm going to do the same thing this year because we have decent cell coverage throughout the majority of the island, is my Garmin InReach Mini 2. Uh, actually, no, not, not the two. I don't have the two. I got the one. So the Garmin InReach Mini, I'm going to omit that as well. So again, total base weight here is a shade over 12 pounds and the Nero here um, states that uh, you know, you're pushing at about 20 pounds, so with food and water and everything all fully loaded up, I'm probably going to be near that threshold um, on any given day but obviously that's gonna come down. So that's it, that's my gear loadout for my TCT Redemption. You're gonna be seeing all of this in my trip videos. Um, hopefully I'll be hitting the trail with a couple of YouTubers, so that'll be fun uh, meeting up with them. Um, if you got any thoughts, any tips and tricks, anything that I might have missed on this one, hit me up in the comments down below. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. And remember, if you're headed off grid, make sure you do research and you make it a safe one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Man, 17 minutes raw and I still felt like I was like blabbering as quickly as I can. Shut up.